I need to fill this up first. One second. Okay, so I feel like, oh. Jesus. I feel like I don't vlog very much. I would like to have more vlog style videos on my channel because it's either traveling or really random videos like house cleaning, which is fine, but I need to get in the practice of making more vlogs. So today I'm gonna go for a little solo surf and I'm taking you with me with my little GoPro. And yeah, I don't really know how the waves are gonna be today. It's been really small lately, but the water's been so warm and I figured it'd be a great day to test out my GoPro skills. Hopefully I get some waves and not like footage of my shoulder or like my foot. I got one good footage surfing um, a local spot not that long ago. So I feel not confident confident, but I feel like I could get a few waves. So I'm gonna go prep my car and I will see you there. Bye! Alrighty, a little um, life update while I'm at a stoplight. Where do I begin? So I got a brand new semi-custom shortboard and it's beautiful and I was super excited to test it out and I ordered it right before my trip to Japan and then it was ready pretty much the day I got back. But a couple days before my flight to Japan, I had this crazy back muscle spasm. So I guess I have this like Berlotti syndrome or Bertolotti syndrome, something like a bone spur in my spine that's hitting my hip bone to simplify it and something triggered it and it would make pretty much all of my muscles around my spine freak out and it was like nauseating excruciating pain i couldn't stand and this was two days before my flight to japan and by some miracle and a lot of tylenol extra strength i was able to make it to japan and I had a great time and uh, it is now July 2nd so since I've been back from Japan I've been going to the chiropractor because it's been acting up again basically it's been really painful and I have tried my new shortboard and it's amazing but I suck on it because right now my back is just not at its full strength so neither is my balance so it's taken a little bit of time to get used to my board but it's been really small lately anyways, so I'm going to take out my bigger board today because I tried shortboarding yesterday and it was so small and my back was hurting so bad. So yeah, that super long story was the shortened version, believe it or not. And I'm on my way to longboard spots, so hopefully the waves are fun today. I did park pretty far away from where I'm surfing because I don't know I still get kind of self-conscious um, filming in public I also don't know if you can hear anything because the waves are so loud here but yeah I'm not surfing here there's no waves I'm like surfing over there and yeah there's like eight people out so it's not bad and it's pretty and it's warm and it's summer so not much to complain about if I just don't think about my back pain. It doesn't exist. It's so small. Hold on. Let me show you. Oh, that's a fun size. I thought it was going to be way smaller. Okay, fun. I am psyching. I just don't know how to get down there. Hold on. I guess I'll just walk down the beach over there and then go 
because I don't want to be put down these rocks. Alright. Also got to pick up three pieces of trash before I surf, which is really easy today because there's trash freaking everywhere. Why? Why is there so much trash? Oh well. I'm right next to trash can. So, the reason why I pick up trash, at least three pieces, before I surf is because, one, it's just a nice thing to do, and it's good karma, and I like to tell people it turns the wave machine on. Um, and I'm usually walking towards a trash can anyways, like the trash can's right next to the bathroom, or there's one in the bathroom, or I'm just walking to a break where they have trash cans anyways. So it would feel really silly not to pick up trash because I'm already there. I might as well just, it's so easy, you know? So, also it became, sorry, I'm changing. It became like a superstition. <laughs> so now I have to pick up trash before I surf or I'm not gonna get good looking. And even if I have like the worst surf session, and I don't catch waves or it's just kind of crummy out, um, I can walk away knowing that the ocean is like three pieces of trash cleaner than it was. I don't know. But it's just nice. There's one person out here. Oh. I'm not going there though. I guess I could. No. No. It was better. We'll see. It's definitely warm enough to not need any neoprene right now, which is so nice. Because it usually doesn't get this warm in California till like September, October. So, quite nice. But the bikini I decided to bring today is kind of a little risque. Can you even see it? showing you my risky tanning swimsuit but it stays on so well I don't have much happening here so I don't need that much fabric but it stays on sunscreen So bad. Uh -huh. 
Like I was expecting one foot and it was two. Good time. Why is surfing so fun? Like it's always so fun. back it's like almost it's dark it's not dark yet but it's getting there but yeah today was super fun i guess if you keep your expectations low then you get fun waves 
people are so friendly when you're wearing, you know, certain bikinis out there. So yeah, it's fun. I don't know if I'm gonna add more to this vlog. I think I just need to get in a habit of vlogging because I've just been slacking. It's either like crazy travel vlogs or like very random cleaning my apartment vlogs, which I need to do again. It's getting questionable. Well, I hope this was entertaining for you guys. Um, we'll see how the footage turns out to when I edit it. Uh, hopefully it's a masterpiece. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and subscribing and liking videos if you've done that. It's just nice, you know, like picking up trash at the beach. Just so nice. Anyways, before I keep talking about nothing, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video wherever that may be, whatever I may be doing. I'll see you there. Bye.